Okay, Grandma, what movie did we just see? No Country for Old Men by the Cone Brothers. Well, I, you know, I expected something very distinctive because I've seen Fargo by them. Well, this was fascinating because it was, you know, such a ca good character study. He, he was really a, a, a menace, the villain in this. And, but it was so violent, I had to hide my, I had to hide my eyes a couple of times, you know. Don't worry, I'm not the man that's after you. What is he supposed to be, the ultimate badass? I don't think that's how I would describe him. How would you describe him? His name is Sugar. Sugar? Were you in Nam? Yeah, I was in Nam. So was I. So what does that make me, your buddy? Tommy Lee Jones, oh, his face revealed so much, and it was he was so good in it, and so was Josh Brosselin, both great. And it was a very, you know, suspenseful, like, cat and mouse movie. At the same time, it was kind of disjointed, I think, and hard to follow in certain respects. And I, don't, I wasn't sure about Woody Harrelson's character, why they even had him in there. They give you very graphic depictions of when the, he kills minor characters, but when it came to, toward the end, when he killed... We'll just say major characters, that way we yeah. don't give away the plot. All right, okay. <laughs> yeah, all the major characters. That ended up dead. Well, I shouldn't say that, but anyway, he, he didn't show. <laughs> Look, you need to give me the money. I've got no other reason to protect you. Too late. I spent it. About a million and a half on whores and whiskey. And the rest of it, I just sort of blew it in. You didn't take the product, did you? What product? The heroin. You don't have it? No, I don't have it. No, you don't. And, and on the whole, it was fascinating. It kept me, you know, it kept my attention completely. So I would give it a thumbs up. <laughs>